Yeah, before you go to the cabin, Teresa, I want to add another contract for Ethan to read, but it's in my study, so just relax. All right, Mr. Crane. Oh, it's fate. Did you say something? Um, yeah. I said that it could be cold up there, maybe even on the train and oh. in the taxi. Maybe I'll buy a warm scarf before I get on the train. Yeah, well, whatever. You just get those papers up to the cabin, have Ethan sign them, and bring them back here as soon as you can. Oh, ASAP. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. You are a good girl, Teresa. I hear from my wife that you do good work. In our family, work comes first. Oh, yes, Mr. Crane. Nothing is more important. Work is very important to me, too, Mr. Crane. Smart as well as beautiful. That's a deadly combination. <laughs> I'll go get that contract. Give Ethan a call. Tell him you're on your way. Okay. Yes! Ethan and I are fated to be together. Isolated in his cabin. But Ethan wasn't expecting to see me. What will we say? How will we act? What will we do? We'll soon find out. Teresa, what are you doing in here? I'm floating on air, Mama. All right. Tell me, what is it that has your hopes up this time? I'm going to the Crane Cabin. Ethan's father wants me to go bring papers to Ethan that he has to sign. The cabin? Well, how are you going to get there? Train and taxi. So you think that Ethan is going to fall in love with you while signing some papers? Oh, don't you see, Mama? Yes, Teresa, I do see. This is another one of your wild fantasies. No, it's fate pushing me and Ethan together. All you'll do is deliver those papers and come home. Ethan feels nothing for you. Oh, you are so wrong. Oh, Teresa, he only sees you as his mother's secretary. Gwen is the girl he's going to marry. No, after today, Gwen will be out of the picture. Well, if you believe that, then you really are deluding yourself. Mama, you cannot put a damper on this for me. This is my time, and I am not going to waste it. Ethan's going to finally know exactly how I feel about him. You've dreamed a fairy tale, Teresa. That's all this is, and it'll never end as you hope. I am not hoping anymore, Mama. I know what the end is now. I have always known. The end is that Ethan is going to marry Gwen. Never. Teresa, there's no point in arguing with you. Just promise me one thing. Please, don't let Luis know about these dreams of yours. Well, I couldn't get Ethan on the phone. I'll try him again later. Well, I am all set to go, Mr. Crane. Is that the contract you'd like to Yes, yeah, thank you. I still don't understand why he took off for the cabin so suddenly. My son isn't uh, really a spur-of-the-moment type, so something important must be going on. Well, maybe he just wanted to get away. He should have asked my permission first. Uh, by the way, Pilar, you have yourself a great girl here. Thank you, Mr. Crane. Uh, this should more than cover your train and cab fare, Teresa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Crane. Uh, you should be up and back in a couple of hours. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm. Ethan's going to be in for a big surprise when you come knocking on the door. <laughs> yes, sir. He will be very surprised. Two of 
was. <sighs> I was too crazy to, to say he was gonna call until Ethan and I was coming, but... <sighs> dream is finally coming true. <laughs> Look at this. <sighs> he set everything up so beautifully. <sighs> Ethan is he's such a romantic. <sighs> Where is he? <laughs> be the surprise of your life, Gwen. Something you'll never forget. What if this is happening too fast? Maybe I should back off. What if this isn't what I think it is? What if Ethan's feelings aren't as deep as mine are for him? No, this is too important to just go into without considering the consequences. No. No. No! This is what I've always dreamed about. Ethan is the most important man in my life. The only man in my life. The one I want to spend the rest of my life with. The one for me. This is fate. It is meant to be. I have to see what he has planned for us. <laughs> <laughs>